Now we go to the sixth unit of the chapter of Earth in the ninth class social studies syllabus of the APSSC textbook, the Earth's grid system. So this is a very interesting uh, concept here. Uh, so far we saw the process of the formation of the Earth and its internal structure. Now we will see how it is shown on maps and globes. You know, globes is a sphere which shows the whole uh, world. Using an atlas to find latitude and longitude of places. Latitude and longitude. Two words have come here. You can find the latitude information in a well-produced atlas or online using Google Earth. Here is one example of how to find the latitude and longitude information in the back of the atlas where places are listed alphabetically similar to the way words are listed in a dictionary so places are listed alphabetically alphabetically like in a dictionary example find the latitude and longitude information for kobe so that is a um, place name in japan find the place name kobe in the list next to that you will find information about that place this is a typical atlas listing so on the left hand side you have Kobe, then you have country's name Japan, you have page number 60, you have latitude 34 degree 41 minutes north and longitude 135 degrees 12 minutes east. The atlas you use may pre present the information slightly differently. So don't worry about that. But these elements will be there. Now find the latitude and longitude values for the other places in the list of earthquake prone places. Earthquake prone, P-R-O-N-E means where usually we have earthquakes. Locate them on a world map. This will also help you understand the Pacific ring of fire and its earthquake prone places. On a globe, a network of latitudes and longitudes is drawn. So there is a network. You have Latitudes, longitudes, you know, the vertical lines and latitudes, the parallel lines, the horizontal lines. And we can locate places and learn much about them. How hot or cold it would be there. So with that, we can know how hot it will be. There. In which direction should we go to reach it and what time it would be there at any moment. So if you know the latitude and longitude of a place, the three things we can know is how hot or cold it would be. In what direction could we go to reach there at the earliest and at what time it would be there at this moment. So that is the unit number six and the next units will be latitudes and the eighth unit will be longitudes which we will do now.